Okay, well the other thing that comes with the Uniden uh, 436 scanner is the uh, USB cord. I have it plugged into my computer and then we can just plug it into the phone here. It has two slots on the side. The top one is for the the top one there is for the uh, GPS unit. The bottom one is to plug it into the computer with. So let's go ahead and plug it in. And it's going to ask you uh, is this is the battery charged? Start charging, yes or no? And so you go ahead and push yes. And it says normal charging. And then of course I have it another picture of it that is already charged up and it says uh, charge complete when it's all done okay okay what I've got here is the old an old uh, scanner and of course the uh, 436 is sitting here I, I just brought this out just to show it it's a uh, Bearcat um, 55 XLT it says it on the top there I know it's not in focus but um, and it's the first scanner I ever bought. I, I think I bought this in, 80, in 1987, 1988, something like that, and it still works. Uh, just the quality of the uh, unit and bearish cat scanner line. Here, let's turn it on. Sunny. Highs in the lower 30s. Tonight, mostly clear. Lows 5 to 10 above. Tuesday, sunny in the morning, then becoming partly cloudy. Highs in the mid 30s. Tuesday night, partly cloudy. And you can see. To 10 it. above. Wednesday, Let's see, it's partly got. cloudy in the morning, then clearing. In the lower 40s. Wednesday night, mostly clear in the evening, then becoming most. Lows near 15. Thursday, windy. Okay, I've locked that channel out, which was, of course, the weather channel. You can see it's only got 10 channels on it. Uh, so, and that was it, 10 channels, and you can't even see the uh, frequency unless you stop it and you push review, then it tells you 155.430, and that's uh, station number 6. So, 10 channels, that was it. I use this thing a lot. So, go ahead and shut that off. It still works. Five AA batteries, and I mean this thing's 30, 30 years old. Still works fine. Okay, enough of that. Let's get back to the uh, 436. Okay, with the uh, Uniden 436 comes uh, the uh, uh, the antenna, which sits right here. This is a SMA, and here's the antenna that came with the. Um, scanner. It even says Uniden on it, Bearcat, so you can feel it right there. It's embossed on there. It comes with this oops, it comes with this adapter that screws into the top of the screws into the top of the uh, antenna SMA like that, where you can put it, uh, it has a BNC adapter on it. So you can use the BNC adapter to use an antenna like this, which just fits on there and then you just twist it on. This is a um, this is a antenna that I got from Radio Shack. As you can see, and it says 800 megahertz on it right there. Cost about I don't know twenty dollars or something like that. It really helps for the eight hundred megahertz band. It really does. It's it's a uh, very very good antenna to use. So you've got the stock antenna. You've got this antenna. Then of course you can use an outdoor antenna. And I've got this here, which is hooked up to my outdoor antenna, uh, which is a PPL um, what PL two fifty two fifty nine something like that. So you have to have an adapter for that too. So I have a BNC that fits on here, and then I have SO239, which fits on on here. You have to push it in, and then it screws in there. And then it hooks to the radio. 
which really an outdoor antenna, you know, for using this at home, tremendously increases your um, um, your, your signal that that you can pick up. So I would definitely recommend getting if you can get this antenna, and if you're at home using this, you know, put an out, outside antenna on. Make sure it's grounded. Make sure it's not plugged in if there's an electrical storm, because it'll just you know tear up your radio. You know, be safe about it. Okay. So as you can see, the uh, scanner, the 436, is charging right now. So we're gonna unplug that, close that up, and let's go ahead and, and turn it on. loading up the full database the other scanners pretty much up to this point had banks so you would have bank one bank two and each bank would have maybe you know however many channels would be in it okay, I'm gonna turn the volume down on this one so if you had a 500 channel scanner and it had uh, 10 banks, each bank would have 50 channels in it. So you could make, so you could put, uh, you know, 50 channels in one bank, 50 channels in bank two, 50 channels in bank three, you know, frequencies. And then you could listen to bank one, all 50 frequencies. And you could listen, you know, and you could scan bank one, you could scan bank two, you could, you know, and you could do it together or you could do it separately. And it doesn't work the way, that way in, in this, <clears throat> in this one, but it does have an interesting feature. Okay, I'll turn the light on here and make it a little bit easier for people to see. And take the hold off of that and the hold off of that. Now I've got it scanning everything, but I don't want it to scan everything. Let's just say I, I want to find out exactly what I'm looking for here. So I can put it on system here and that'll hold it. You've got the hold sign there and then if you hit it again now you can start going over and look at all of your different systems. And you have to do it while it's highlighted in the black. If I wait until it goes back to this color then it doesn't work so you have to or you can just hold it down either way. So I'm going to go over to what I hear the most, which would be uh, Utah Communications Authority. They call it UCAN for some reason. Okay. And now I've got the system in there. And I've got it locked on hold. Now I can go to the department. The department is this next line. And you, you can see it's scanning and then the channel would be down here and that's this one here channel. Okay. So the, for the next one for the department I again hold it. Okay, and it's going to sit, sit there at Box Elder County. But I want it to be in my county which is uh, Washington County. So let's hold it again. Okay. Now I just click and turn and there's Washington County. Okay. Now it's just scanning in my county. Now I can do the same thing with the channels. I can come down here to the channel and I hold it. And you can see that it's on Law 3 which is Hurricane uh, Washington and the DNR Parks station or channel or frequency. You can see the talk group in there. Hold it again and I can actually I don't have to hold it. I can just switch over now. So I've got one Hurricane Leeds, Central, East and all that, uh, Hilldale, Fire, Washington County, uh, Operations 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then 16, I'm dropping down, and a whole bunch, Law 99. Now, the ones that I pick up the most are uh, Law 3, Law 2, and Law 1. So if I just want to, you know, 
just, just scan those. I could take it off hold, and it, you know, it's going to scan like you know, 15 or 16 different, uh, 15 or 16 different little um, frequencies in there. You know, if that's what I want to do. Now, that's the easy way to do it. But uh, of course, you can program in favorites list, and we're going to hit that later. But this is just if you don't want to use a computer, <laughs> basically. Now, I'm going to turn the volume up here, which is the top button, and you can see it in here, volume level 3. And I'm going to turn it up to 10, push the button again, and let's just wait till we hear us something on here. Actually, we don't even have to wait. Let's just go to replay, which is this button here, and it'll play the last It'll play the last transmission. Oh, replay is off to activate set play replay. So let's go ahead and set it. Let's go to settings, replay options, and it's like it said it was off. So let's go to 30, and you can go from 30 to 240 seconds. Let's just keep it at 30, and. Like I said, you can go back to your menu by hitting the menu button, and if you've gone into like you know a menu item and you've gone like you know three steps, it'll take three steps to get back, or you can just hit system. It takes you right back. That's the easy way to do it. So let's just see if we can get a, a hit here, and then we can replay it. Can I get a 28 by Ben? And also a Texas 27 by name University. Okay, here we go. Go with that, Vin first. Can I get a 28 by Vin and also a Texas 27 by name University? Go with that, Vin first. Can you just go to system to take it back? Or let's pause. Pause is on. Hit. And we don't want to hear it again. No. Okay, now it's Out of Texas, last of Enright. I don't, November, I don't want to put that Romeo in Indian. because that's somebody's license plate number and I don't want to put that on YouTube. But you can see how it, how it works. Now, if you want to record every single transmission, like I said, to play the last one, you hit replay. You hit function, replay, and it says recording started. And today is, today is January 22nd and the time. Yes or no? Yes, I want to start recording. So now everything... Every time I hit a station, it'll record it. And there it's recording one right there. Because it says record right down here in the uh, bottom of the screen. Okay. Let's bring up the volume a little bit. And I don't want to... <laughs> I don't want to put that on YouTube. People's names and license plate numbers. Okay. But anyway, if you want to listen to it, uh, hit scan, go to settings, which is right there, hit settings, hit replay options, hit review recordings, and I've already got some in there. Just go your last one, which is 122, and hit play. Play session, delete session, rename session. Let's go ahead and play it. Now it's got one. This is the first one of six, and then it will go to the next one, and it will say two of six, or I can just hit the dial up here to go to, to number two, three, four, five, and six. And it was just some guy checking on a license plate, you know, for somebody, and I don't want to obviously play that on the uh, YouTube channel. Okay, replay it. You want to play it again? Yes or no? No. Get back to scanning, hit system, and you're there. Now, if we want to get out of that, okay, we can hit that. That'll take us out. Now it'll start scanning all of the Utah Communication Authority. And if we want to get out of everything, it'll go back to scanning the full. Oops, I hit the wrong one. Hit the system. And there we go. Now it's re now now it's scanning everything. Pretty easy and very handy. 
and that's how it works for scanning. Um, just using the uh, scanner itself.